Hello friends, this video is brought to you by Foremost that makes you to lead the world. Students, we have learned in our previous video about the shoot system and we had started with the first part that was your stem. So today we are going to learn about the second important part of the shoot system that is your leaf. So in this video we will understand about the structure of leaf as well as about the functions of the leaf. In this video, we will start with our second important part of the shoot system that is your leaf. So first of all, we will understand what is the definition of the leaf or how you can define the leaf. So students, leaf is the green colored flattened structure which is present over the plant. So one by one now we will understand about the structural features or the various parts of the leaf in the detail. So we will start our discussion with this first part which is known as the petiole. So students you can see this is a small stalk like structure which is present along with the leaf. So petiole is the part of the leaf by which it is attached to the main branch. After the petiole you can see the second important part that is your lamina which is also known as the leaf blade. So what is lamina? Lamina is the green color and the flattened part. So this part is known as the lamina and it is also known as the leaf blade. After this, now we will discuss about third important part that is your veins. So what are veins? You can see there are so many lines over the structure of the leaf. So these lines they are known as the veins and after the veins now we will understand about the fourth important part that is your midrib. So students you can see in the center of the leaf there is a thick line. So this thick line it is known as the midrib and along with this midrib you can see the veins they are arranged. So this is the general structure of the leaf. So we have discussed so many important parts of the leaf. So now one by one we will understand about this. So a leaf is the green color part of the plant and the part of the leaf by which it is attached to the stem this is known as the petiole and after this is the broad and the green part of the leaf it is known as the lamina and after the lamina the lines on the leaf these are known as the veins and the thick vein which is present in the middle it is known as the midrib so now we will explore one more important term which is known as the leaf venation so what is leaf venation so as you have seen in the earlier picture, the design made by the veins, the designs made by the veins in the leaf, this is known as a leaf venation. So now we are having two kinds of leaf venation. The first one is your parallel venation and second one is your reticulate venation. So now one by one we will understand about this kinds or these kinds of venation. The first venation is your parallel venation. So as the name is indicating if the venation or the veins they are arranged in the form of parallel lines like this these lines. So if the design is like this so these type of venation this type of venation it is known as the parallel venation. So you can see in front of you this is an example of the parallel venation. So you can observe the parallel lines over the over this leaf. So we are having so many examples like your mage plant, your sugarcane plant. These plants they are having these ki this kind of these kind of leaves which is having parallel venation. 
so this is about the parallel venation when the design formed by the veins it is in the form of parallel lines so such kind of venation it is known as the parallel venation now we will move towards the second type that is your reticulate venation so reticulate venation means when the design formed by the veins it is in the form of net like structure you can observe these nets over this over the structure of the leaf so this net like design it is known as the reticulate venation so now we will understand one more important thing here there is a relation between the kinds of the roots along with this venation also if the plant if the leaves they are having parallel venation so their roots they are the fibrous roots and if the plants they are having reticulate venation so their roots they are tap roots so many times such type of questions they are coming in the exams you what is the relation if if you are having a plant which is having parallel venation so what kind of roots this plant is having so this is the relation between the roots as well as the kinds of the venation if your plant is having parallel venation the roots are fibrous and if the plant is having reticulate venation so its roots are tap roots so after this we will move towards the functions of the leaf we will understand about the functions of the leaf under two categories one is your transpiration and the second one is your photosynthesis first of all we will start our discussion with the with this important term that is your transpiration so first of all we will understand the definition of transpiration transpiration means when the leaves release water from the plant through stomata so this process is known as transpiration students you can see this is the this is the structure of the leaf and leaf comprises so many pores these small small pores these pores they are known as the stomata so if you want to observe these stomata so you cannot observe these pores directly if you want to observe these you have to see the leaf under the microscope under the microscope you can observe these small pores these are your stomata so with the help of these stomata plants they will also release water from the surface of the leaf and this process is known as the transpiration so transpiration plays a very important role in the life of the plant it helps in the cooling down of the leaves and it also plays a very important role in water cycle as leaves they are releasing water in the form of vapors to the atmosphere so this is the first function of the leaf that is your transpiration now we will understand about the second important function of the leaf that is your photosynthesis so i hope students you must have learned about this important term in your previous classes also photosynthesis means in the presence of the light photo means light and synthesis means to prepare so in the presence of the light plants they will prepare their food and this process is known as the photosynthesis so what happens in this process leaves they prepare their food in the presence of a sunlight and a green colored substance which is known as the chlorophyll so i hope students you must have observed the leaves of the plants all the leaves most of the leaves they are of green color and this green color is just because of the presence of this pigment which is known as a chlorophyll so with the help of this green color pigment the leaves they will absorb the sunlight and then they will use the water and carbon dioxide from the air and then they will make their food and this process is known as the photosynthesis you can see in the diagram this sunlight it is absorbed by the leaves the chlorophyll which is present over the surface of the leaves 
and now they will use the carbon dioxide as well as the water for making their food this process is known as the photosynthesis in this process oxygen is also released oxygen which we are using for the purpose of our breathing so oxygen also plays a very important role in our life so now what happens the food which is prepared by the leaves it is stored in the different parts of the plant such as the starch so these are very important terms what is chlorophyll how you will define photosynthesis and what is starch so these are the very important terms and you should know about these terms now so this is all about the functions of the leaf we have discussed about the two important functions of the leaves first one was your transpiration and second one photosynthesis so that is all about the second important part of your shoot system that is your leaves so in the coming videos we will learn about the next important parts of your shoot system thank you and have a great time